on today's app. What are the girls doing these days? Are we wearing beauty underwear? Are we wearing skims? Are we wearing... I stopped wearing skims because it becomes like rat a tat tat in two days. <laughs> <laughs> like a string I wash it out. once and it's like literally like Halloween decorations <laughs> hanging down from my garage. Hey guys, this is Liddy and Chitty in, in the, the Big Bad city. city. A podcast by New Yorkers for everyone. I'm Chloe. I'm Em. And that's all you need to know. Let's get started. In the big bad city. I'm starting this episode angry. I have to let everyone okay. know because Chloe and I just got pedicures across the street and they put the fucking wrap on. It's not their fault, but I put my loafers on and after like 20 feet walking, my fucking big toe, my left big toe Your is big messed toe, up. The, ma- the captain. And the, ca- <laughs> the captain <laughs> is messed up and it's really hard for me to let go of that. Let me just say You're this. You're looking at it right now and it's kind of like there's, it's like two people... Two different people took a fingernail and made an imprint in the <laughs> middle. Sucks. Dude, you know what I have to say? What? It's so underrated to own a pair of flip-flops in the city. I like, know, for pedicures. You have to own a pair of flip-flops. I know fingers I and own, toes on the street are gross. I own, um, like, like slip it, but yeah, I need to get no, a pedicure. No, a slip-on. Everyone has a house shoe. Well, but you should have my a- house shoes are Crocs. <laughs> Me too. Big ones that don't fit my feet are my house shoes. Big orange Me too, Crocs. But I would never tell anyone that. Why? Crocs are back. Crocs have never left. Who says? Me. Okay. Drew House. You heard it here. Says it. But the reason why I don't have flip flops and for the longest time didn't was because I never would get pedicures because I had such nasty toes for the longest time. And I've only just finally started to let them look normal. Yeah. I'm so glad I take care of that. Every now and then I look over and I see the ring on my finger. Yeah, she's engaged. Um, let's talk about feet. Feet? Yeah. Okay. Go. Um, One, I two, will. three, I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. I so got my matcha, you sipping matcha. through a straw, protect the lipstick. Protect the lipstick. You know what you got to do. I have amazing feet. You really do. I you could have, sell them. And I have. And I will. <laughs> um, I just want to talk about Go ahead. people's feet. I don't want to talk about like I don't want to ick or yuck anyone's fetishes, yeah. but I'm so intrigued by foot fetishes. Yeah. Um, is that too much? No. Or is it just enough? Just enough. Because I have sold pictures of my feet before. Uh-huh. And it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. Right. Except put some cash put in cash your bank, in my bank account. account. It's not like get, turning me on. No. It's turning someone else on. Do you get that? Uh, how it turns people on or why you did it? <laughs> no, not about <laughs> me. How, why it turns people on? Yeah. I I, receive a picture of a foot. No, I don't. (laughs) But I'm not judging. No, obviously not. Like I, I'm, I'm by any into it. (laughs) (laughs) No, I know. I, I guess I never, my feet are so next level crazy. I have toe fingers and they've always been ugly. And I, I, am I going to say this on the, I like pick them. You shouldn't say this. Should I cut I'm it? I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking cut it. It's so embarrassing. No, I pick my body apart. I'll, yeah. Like I pick. I'm a picker. I'm a picker. But I a picker pick ever my... since you learned how to pick. <laughs> but I don't pick my toes by any means. Yeah. But <laughs> it's like, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing with pickers, okay? And people who pick. Wait. I... Everyone picks. No, they don't. <laughs> and people who don't, I'm like, get over yourself. People pick. So don't say ew. Don't Emily. Like people who slap me, you're like, stop that. That's gross. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Let a girl pick. Let a girl pick. <laughs> here's the thing. But here's here's okay. First of all, people who don't pick and don't get it. Some people might not out, understand. Out. Might not understand what we're even saying. But by picking, okay. If you don't understand what we're saying, <laughs> it's picking of like the skin or nails. <laughs> Why this is this dirty? What? I don't care. Let's right. get right into it. So many people pick. I just said everyone picks, and then I'm like, oh, not me. Everyone I, picks, pick. but then some people don't pick. You pick your cuticles. You pick your. I don't pick my cuticles. Okay, no. But here, here's what Do I was gonna say nose? ten minutes ago. There's two different types of pickers, people who pick their nails and people who pick their skin. You pick your skin, I pick my nails. <laughs> and those who pick their skin seem to be not understand those who pick their nails and those who pick their nails don't understand people who pick their skin. For example, when I see you picking your cuticles, I'm like, Chloe Richmond, yeah, you're like, that has got to stop. Yeah. But then here I am, literally toe in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Taking my nail and picking the nail That's of my toe, sickening. and you're like, ew. Wait, first of all, we're but two we're doing young the same women. Thing. We're young women. Get our fucking pickies out of here. I can't, dude. I'm we gonna cannot, have it my whole life. We cannot be sitting here wanting people to take us fucking seriously with our f- toes in our laps. 
And to be clear, I don't do that. But here's the thing. Something I learned in my life is that I'm never going to feel like an adult. So I'm always going to pick. You're going to be a picker ever <laughs> since you learned how to pick. I've, yeah. You know what I was just thinking? But that's why I get acrylic nails so that I don't pick them off. My toes, however... You ever have like dissociative episodes in the bathroom? Totally. <laughs> Where I will go in there and John's like on TikTok in the living room and I hope he doesn't like, he pro- he must know like when I go in the bathroom and it's like 20 minutes goes by and I'm not saying anything, it's because I am sitting there. A hundred percent. I do that to my face, which is really bad. I'm sitting there like... I'm not kidding you when I say not a thought goes through my head. <laughs> just like, no thoughts. I just am picks. just. <laughs> <laughs> and totally. I need that in my life. Like, yeah. like life is so overwhelming. I need it like once every, what, like week, two weeks. Yeah, normalized I picking. need to sit in the bathroom and go nuts and <laughs> leave and go, what the fuck did I just do? I know. I Look actu- at my nasty toes. I actually and go, feel that way. I actually understand. But you do it with... What, your face? My face, I'll pick my face, I'll pick my cuticles. Yeah. You know what? Like, so many people that I know do it. <laughs> I know. I, but I know people who, do, like, John doesn't pick and doesn't care for it, and he'll, like, hit my hand away. Yeah, and it's like... And meanwhile, I'll wake up in the morning, <laughs> or, like, if I ever see his toes... <laughs> I'm like, too okay, far. stop too much. Okay. Let me just say this. <laughs> this what? I have two thoughts. Okay. Just picks. Just picks. No. So, one is... I, I have a friend who taught me the, a nothing box. Okay. A nothing box is what you go in when you're just like, it's just you. You probably have a partner. And when you both need to be on your own, you go into your nothing boxes. Oh. So like when you're in the bathroom doing your skin and John's on TikTok, you're in your nothing boxes. Yeah. So like, let's say you're laying in bed together with yeah. your partner and you're like doing things together. And then it's like, I really want to go on TikTok hour. Yeah. It's like, let me go in my nothing box. Yeah. And that means... I don't do anything wrong. Yeah. I'm not doing, like, I could pick my skin. Yeah. I could be on TikTok. I could be gross and dirty. Yeah. But, like, I'm in my nothing box. Yeah. So it's nothing to do with you. What is nothing to do with me? When John when, goes on TikTok? No, when you're on your, when we're in our nothing boxes. Oh. It's not I, about the no. other. You know what? Uh-oh. I'm going to disagree with you there and say picking, my picking dissociation no. is not a nothing box. I know. It's an I go everything on, box. It's an everything box. I go on a nothing box, like, without picking. Like, I do that, like, when I wash dishes and I listen to something or, like, I'll sit on the couch That's and go on TikTok. That's just disassociating. The picking What's the thing, difference, really? The, huge, because the picking thing is, like, thing. It's, it's, like, I don't need anyone to ever see me like that. It's Absolutely. not a, a nothing box. If someone walked in and saw me in my nothing box, I'm not embarrassed. If someone saw me with my foot on my fucking bathroom, <laughs> totally, sink, totally, I become an ogre. I totally attacking agree. my own body. That is not a nothing box. You know those TikToks that are like, we can't let the boys know we do these things, girls. Yeah, and it's like, but most of them are like, yes, we can. Yeah, except for picking. picking. What? <laughs> What's another one? Like, I don't know. Have you been hearing a lot about about everything showers? Mm-mm. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. What it's actually this? quite unhealthy. Quite, it's quite quite unhealthy. <laughs> what is it? It feels quite toxic and unhealthy, but in the best way possible. In a way of like, <clears throat> when you're feeling, let's say for you don't have to actually be feeling this way. You could always take an everything shower, but for me, when I'm feeling like really like icky, like I ate a lot, bloated, like yeah. just yucky about my body mm-hmm. or mind even. When you get in the shower, do an everything shower. So you sh- you're doing your eyebrows. You're doing a full body wax. You're exfoliating all the places. You're getting in between the, the cracks. You're getting, you're doing literally everything. Ear, Q-tips in the ears. Wow. Everything. So you come out and you're squeaky. Wow. And you're ready to go. Then you lotion because it doesn't end when you get out. Yeah. You continue the journey with your skincare. I feel like this requires a bath shower. I have a do you sit down in your shower? shower? No. Ever? No. When you're hungover? No. You cry standing up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't cry because you're engaged shower. no i cry i cry anyone else i cry usually when i'm about to get my period which i'm supposed to get i think today or tomorrow and me i too. haven't cried yet waiting for it me too although i did get up I, I was so upset on my way to over to meet you i was like stressed out and i know you were like no really nervous but i no, i cry in the shower like like sometimes when i cry and it's like Especially because I live with John, and I if I have to cry, but it, I don't want him to be like, "Why are you?" I'm like, "Oh my god, you secret cry." If it's if it's a, like like a like John a check on her, cry. check on her. No, it's only happened like twice. Usually, a period cry is over something stupid, and no one sh- again. It, and you it's should like, do it I don't need doors. him to think I'm upset. I'm just crying in the shower. But actually, I do cry in front of him when the, sometimes when those happens, and I'm like, I don't know why I'm crying. Just ignore me. Yeah, 
I think um, every girl could relate to that. Yeah. I cracked an egg into a bowl and the yolk, I missed the bowl. <laughs> and it looked so cute. Oh, I thought you were going to say, and you cried. No, and then I cried. Because oh. it was a little yolk <laughs> on, on the counter. You cried because it was beautiful? It was, like, cute. There's, like, just yolk on my counter. Have you ever seen just, like, a little egg on the counter? And I was getting my period. No. I was getting my period, and I was like, oh, he missed the bowl. <laughs> then I felt really sad for myself. of like, she can't even crack an egg, an egg. into the bowl. Oh. <laughs> she can't do anything. Anyway, periods are I love that crazy. your inner, inner monologue is about you and not you. It's you going, she can't even cry. Yeah, she, it is. She. Not I. No. That's kind of, I like that. Anyway, back to my thing. Okay. Back Everything to the computer. Showers. Everything showers. That became a really big thing for me for like mental health and like yeah. clarity of like, I just. Everything. Everything need to get off. it all out. Yeah. Something that I also took away from this whole everything shower. I can't do that eyebrow raise that you just did because of my I, Botox. Did it I was raise so my eyebrow? Awesome. You did a one eyebrow raise. See, my brother always tells me that I do this. Like I, I like you mirror expressions you, no, of you who's do. talking to me. You do. Yeah. And I love the people that do that. Now I'm thinking about it. But, but yeah, I will say you guys, you guys, you guys. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. There are people <laughs> on the other end of this. You guys. You know when someone has that like thing where they're talking. And you're like making a face at me right now. Dude. I know. I'm sorry. You like look concerned. I know. People always say that to me too. Like, like they're like, gonna, why are you upset? I'm like, I'm listening. Sometimes when I tell you a story that's like going to be a good ending and you already anticipate a concerned face, I'm like, stop no. it. I know. It's my listening face is concerned. <laughs> so in elementary school, there's those kids that like would like mouth the words as you're speaking. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh my God. I and hate I would those. like change the thing I was going to say really quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, you're like gotcha. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't know my next move. Yeah. And you never will. Or what about when people, <laughs> what about when people like, um, what about when people like, and I was kind of doing this before a little bit, say, yeah, uh-huh. As you're talking. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like they knew you were going to say. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on. Yeah. I didn't yeah. get to it yet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa! It's also it's, like it's not that. I don't want your and real you don't reactions. actually know. Yeah, but I do it all the time. Like I noticed it as you were saying your everything showers. I was like, uh huh, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> and it's like, M. Shh. This is also like for the audio, so it feels a lot like. Well, that's why I was thinking about it. I was like, if someone's listening to this, it's annoying to hear me going, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, uh huh, every yeah. two seconds. I'm wearing Yiddy underwear, and I have to say, I'm over it. Oh, <laughs> two days ago she was like, "I'm wearing Yeti underwear." I was like, and "It's it all the my life, and I'm already over what it." What are the girls doing these days? Are we wearing Yeti underwear? Are we wearing skims? Are we wearing? I stopped wearing skims because it becomes like rat a tat tat in two days. <laughs> <laughs> like a string. I wash it out. once, and it's like literally like <laughs> Halloween decorations hanging down from my crotch. <laughs> That's actually brilliant. <laughs> it was, and I'm like, and. Listen, the thing is so hard to get on in the first place. If I get like a fucking string caught somewhere and I'm already no. like, Ugh. and when you have to nails, get it on, when you have long nails, it. yeah, it's like, but Yiddy, I will say it is like, you're but clenched. It's, I am, but like, it's not really shape shifting. What if we all decide right now that we're not going to wear anything like that? And we're just going like, to hang out a little bit. I don't mind hanging out a little bit. The reason why I'm wearing it is because I want to see if, like, I like it. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, the brand? I don't, I'm... Or you like how you like your body looks? How I like my body looks. Well, also... What? What? I'm Wait, confused. start over. I'm wearing it because I saw an Instagram ad for it. This is actually a problem I've been having lately. You know how, like, sometimes, do you ever buy stuff on Instagram when you're falling asleep? Of course. I'm having the reverse problem where I buy it as soon as I wake up and I don't remember it after. Like this morning, <laughs> I bought like Shark Tank weight loss pills and then I remembered an hour yeah, later, I was like, did I buy it or was I half asleep? And I bought it half asleep in the morning. Oh, Emmy Lou. I know. Return them. That's a waste of money. And, for and someone my who credit needs card twice was like fraud and I was like, it's probably a sign. But I like said, <laughs> like, no, this was again. me. Try again. Um, return them. Should I just say it's fraud and cancel it? Of course. One time I was out. At well, a that's what I did with Yiddy too. I bought it half asleep in the morning. But that was so a good. Now you know. I mean, like, let me stand up. Like, I, I like it. It's just like, I'm like, like, look. First of all, it's coming all the way up out of my skirt. That's top incorrect. Of my skirt. That's yeah. That's incorrect. And also, I, I guess I'd rather have like a leotard type thing. I don't know. It's just like. I agree. Like, do we need to be shape wearing, shape shifting? Like, can't we no. just let ourselves be? 
you know what? It's so funny that you said that because that's the TikTok that I was quoting in the beginning of like, we can't let the boys know we're shape shifting. Because oh. it was like showing the girls without their makeup and then oh. how they contour. Yeah. And it's like, they should also know how good we are at makeup. Yeah. Not us, but yeah. others. Yeah. Wait. Um, You're good at makeup. I'm not very good at makeup. You I watch so many Get Ready With Me's. Yeah. Get Ready With Me, yeah. you stupid bitch. Yeah. Um, I was going to say about the weight loss thing. Yeah. Okay. Don't take those. It's a it's a phony deal. Actually, the ing- main ingredient in them, it reminded me, was one that I took in high school. And it worked? Is and it, it worked. What was it called? Garcinia Cambogia. Oh, my fucking God. Emily would <laughs> buy those. <laughs> Emily would buy those. Of course I bought them. Of course. I. And I then I remember- went to school to get my nutrition degree. And I know that's a whole you know, piece of shit. It's not a piece of shit. It worked. No, in your brain it worked. But also, here's the thing, dude. I don't know why I bought it because I'm not like trying to lose weight. Yeah. I, so I don't know. I was half a fucking sleep. And I was like, ooh, let me you get You got to return those, Em. We could, <sighs> let me tell everyone the secret. I don't even need the secret. But I'm going to yes, tell everyone. everyone the it's a secret. Eat less. Eat less. And work Smile out. more. And work out. <laughs> That's all you need to do. No, you know what I was quoting? No. Eat less. Smile more. I have no idea. Don't let them know what your heart is. Or what? Hamilton. I've never seen Talk Hamilton. Talk less. Yes, you have. We watched it in your backyard. We watched the first 15 minutes 15 times. Yeah, we did. I don't have the... Well, anyone who likes Hamilton will know that reference. Yeah. Your mom's calling you. Okay, well, can't take it. So you're wearing undies and you're getting weight loss drugs. Yeah. And I ordered... Oh, my God. Another one. I just remembered. <gasps> I keep doing this, dude. It's a chronic problem. Instagram gets me in the morning. But this I'm actually excited about. Have you seen ads for... Um, this is becoming like a sponsor podcast. We're like sponsoring all these products. Not really. Have you seen ads for Just Bobby? No. Bobby Brown, like split from Bobby Brown. And she it's has, a woman. It's a woman, older woman. And she has this like everything totally. thing that she's been selling. Totally. And I bought two shades of it. And you it's want everything coming in the mail. Has. Yeah, I want everything in Ship she to has. Mimi. Ship to Mimi. Nice. Thank you. All of our episodes are linked together. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying more about weight loss with Garcinia Cambogia. Yeah, what about Ozempic? Are you, on, are you ready to talk about it? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, okay. you guys. I have to try everything for myself once. Yeah. And I know Zempic is all the rage. So I tried it. <laughs> and I ended up in the ER. <laughs> <laughs> and Funny now, not funny then. Um, would I do it again? No. I've only tried one dose. I know I don't need it. I Honestly, I understand... Y'all, I understand yeah. that that's not necessarily something that I should have done. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to try it. I, I'm, I become obsessed with something until I try it. Um, I injected it into myself. Oh, my God. A few hours later, I screen barfed into my toilet, projectiled. I threw up from that moment t- for 48 more hours and then crawled to the ER. Crawled. Ugh. And they said, you're green. And they said this is the scariest they've ever seen someone. No, it's not. You didn't tell me this part. I didn't? No. That's why the nurse gave me her number. She was like, we need to make sure you're breathing. Oh, <gasps> dude. Yeah, and no you one- You didn't tell me that part. Yeah, I'm alive. And I live to tell the tale. Oh, don't, my don't God. Don't fuck around with, with medication body. and- bo- don't, put, don't inject things, first of all. Don't inject things. Well, I'm on an injectable, but it's prescribed. For, for my psoriasis. psoriasis. Yeah, we're really opening up here. Yeah. Yeah, Emily has psoriasis. She's just like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> me not being embarrassed about it, but you saying that, making me feel you embarrassed feel about embarrassed. it. <laughs> yeah. John always says it's eczema, and I'm like, it's fucking psoriasis. Do you feel more embarrassed to have eczema? Because I have eczema. No, you don't, do you? Yeah, I do. <sighs> Where? I have everything. What, do you want me to fucking prove it? <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> you're upset with those, about Ozempic, and now you're taking it out on me. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't lose weight. I got violently sick. I didn't put anything in my body for three weeks, but I was so fucking bloated because of the trying a drug that shouldn't go in my body. Wait, you were bloated from From Ozempic? throwing up in the, oh. back, the acid in my body and well, haven't pooped in three years. Let's Really? That's yeah. unusual for you, no? Totally. Let's unpack a little bit more here. Okay. So You were planning on t- taking Ozempic because it's all the rage. Should try it out. Because... I am not saying this to say I told you so, but just for the record, I was against it. So for the record, everyone that I know told was me Was against so. it. And I like to fuck around and find out- Yourself. Myself. You could tell me anything. You could tell me and anything. And you're still going to do it. And if I have my eye on the prize, 
you bet your ass I'm going to fucking Brazil and getting those MPEG. Yeah. I'm getting BBL in Brazil. Yeah. No, but I... I'm getting BBL in Brazil. I'm getting BBL in Brazil. Oh, la, la. Wait, so what's going on with you? How are you? <laughs> um, so I tried Ozempic. I really, really would not recommend it. I think it's really, really, really inappropriate for people our age to be taking or injecting things yeah. into their body when... Especially your size that you are. Yeah. And it wasn't even like, like necessarily about like, yeah... I also don't really want to, like, lose weight right now. I mean, I always do, but it's, like, I want to get fit right now. It's not about losing weight. Well, here's the thing that surprised me about it, and we don't have to dig further into the psychological of it at all. But I'm, like, I really do think, and maybe I'm speaking for myself, but I do think you and I are both on this page based on how much I talk to you every single day. I have really gotten to a place, I think, again, I'm going to speak for both of us. We've both gotten to this place, I feel like, with, You know, you grew up in the 90s. You grew up with all this weight stuff. You want to be skinny, blah, 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 blah. But I do feel like you and I have gotten to a point in our life where, like, we're not unhealthy about body image anymore. Totally. And we're genuinely just, like, eat clean workout girls. Yeah. And, like, I... Because I can look back on times in our friendship earlier where we were just, like... Don't eat like holding each other accountable for, for like having unhealthy. Eating disorders. Yes, exactly. Totally, and I think so many people. So have many people that. have that, and like, uh, who's to say it's you know what determines when or whatever? But I, that's what it was so surprising to me because I was like, Chloe, I feel like you and I are like we're past that Peloton, like, and like eating clean, and we enjoy eating clean. But also, we let ourselves pick out when we want, like... Yeah, we're so really I was balanced. like, why are you taking those? Yeah, it just felt like something I wanted to try. And, and like, I get that, because when I have my mindset on something, I'm the same way. I'm like, I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah, like, I'm going to try it. Yeah. And I do feel like I'm in this... I do feel less in a bald... Bald? Bald spot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in a body-altering space in my life, yeah. where I'm like, I don't think I need to change anything. This is how my body's going to look. We're at the age where it's like, we're not going to, like, change so dramatically yeah. necessarily so anything dramatic that we do is not how we're supposed to, to look. live and look. I also wonder if it's I think what you I feel like what you did was and I feel like I do this sometimes too in other ways of like sometimes when you're like I need a hard reset and you were hoping Ozempic would be your hard reset totally and I wasn't like gonna like take Ozempic from all the people that actually need it for like 20 years it was like reset yeah but like reset's also really toxic behavior like you're not supposed no, to. I yeah. Don't, you think reset's oh. toxic behavior? I don't know. If, no, not if you go on a bender and it's like, I need a hard reset. No, I like a hard reset. I yeah. agree. That's kind of like an everything shower. Yeah, exactly. I, I think what's really toxic is when people are like, I just was on vacation. I need to do a juice cleanse to like reset my body. It's like, oh, that's not yeah. what you do. Or it's you're let's say you're eating clean one day. And also that's a whole problematic thing in itself, whatever mm-hmm. of like, I'm just eating clean. What's yeah. clean. Yeah. But if you're eating clean and then you have like a burger for dinner, the mindset of being like, I fucked it up. It's over. Like, yeah. I don't care. I'm going to eat fucking crazy. Well, actually you're not supposed to do that. You're just like, okay, eat a burger. Exactly. And then you move on. And, and then, then tomorrow and you can, you're fine. You're, you don't have to reset. Like you yeah. Gotta yeah. wash the next day. Next. Next caller. I'm so bored of like weight. I'm so bored of you know, weight too. Genuinely. Me too. Like so like literally Chad next. G- yeah. What? Chat, Chat G- GPT, what? like like oh wait, let me tell you this is funny. Is it about weight? Yeah. Okay. And then we're moving on. Then we're done. Well it's actually not really about weight. Okay. Well it is. So you can kind of on Chat GPT, I went on the other day and was like just playing around with it, seeing what it could do. And I was like, come up with three different meal recipes for my dinner. These are the things I have in my fridge. <gasps> and it brilliant. did. And it did. And then I spoke with a friend, a lover, and, he, <laughs> and Ollie, he said that when he goes to the- Whoa, a lover, Oliver. Wow. A lover, Oliver. His name's Oliver. It's cute, guys. A lover. <laughs> a lover. A lover. A lover. Okay. <laughs> so- Anyway. Is his name spelled wrong in your phone or is it O L I V I? Definitely wrong. Probably wrong. Okay, cool. This I was wondering goes. if he spelled it like French. No, that's it. Okay. That's, oh my God. Wait, I want this out, I think. But it's like he's from New Jersey. But he's from New Jersey. He's not French. And that's so why my, my, that's Siri, not a dig. my Siri goes, call coming in from Olivier. Yeah, it's spelled like Olivier. I'm an idiot. Okay, wait. You're not. So, hey. Thanks. No, you're not. Not an idiot. So my you're friend, like, up, yeah, I'm trying to tell a story. Okay. My friend, he goes to Equinox, flex, and he, <laughs> when he goes to Equinox, he'll be like, put together a 15-minute circuit for me. 
weights only. And it'll be like... On ChatGPT? Yeah, and they'll come up with a whole workout plan for you. Whoa. Wait, you guys don't know this? You guys? I just don't use it. I'm like so... Smart and don't need it? No. First of all, I'm a Peloton girl. Second of all, you are my chat GPT my whole life anyways. Well, I'm just like, I can't think of when I would use it. Except write me a joke. I did ask for it to write a joke about Mitt Romney, and it was like, I can't be biased about politics. And I was like, oh my God. I immediately hate it now. Although I said, like, write me a song about like, or I said, write me a song about Mitt Romney. And it was like, and it was just like so stupid. Yeah, they do and that. And silly. I'm going to write your whole... But my it's wedding actually vows. smart, like work, like I didn't, or like, yeah, I have stuff no. in my fridge. What do I do with it? Like. Totally. Isn't that a great I, idea? Yeah. I have some really clever ideas. Like I got to think about how to use ChatGPT more. It's smart. I only think about it of like creative stuff, but it's like, no, like run my day for me. Literally every day. These Play are, back my day. What you can do is look, like log in your day. Like these are the things, appointments I have. Can you schedule or what time should I have lunch? Oh. And it'll make you a schedule for your day. But, like, I don't need that, you know? I'll just live my life. Yeah, but it's just, like, fun. It is fun, and you you just excited me about, like, different ways to try and use yeah. it. Yeah. So. Maybe I... You know what I would use it for? Like, um... I, like make a cleaning of my apartment schedule. Like like what's the best way, chores. most efficient way to do my chores? Monday through Friday chores. Yeah, like I would do that because today Monday, I was cleaning. Monday you do the toilet. I always start cleaning my apartment and then just two hours in, I'm like going through old photos and it's like I can't. Yeah. I can't. Like, I, I can't. literally can't. I fucking can't. I'm so broad. John has so many fucking clothes. Our closet is exploding. Really? Yeah. You That's know, just you know what the trick is. Separate thing, John. If you're listening, get rid of your fucking clothes. Clean your closet out, buddy. You know, people say that when you bring something new into your to your closet, you should get rid get of rid two of something things. Else. Get two. rid of something else. Two. Well, you know me. I only wear four things ever. I've never seen this fit. Really? I feel like I've been over wearing this blazer so much. I mean, now that I've said it, I'm probably gonna see it every day. It looks really nice with your engagement ring. I love you. So tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow's a huge day. Tomorrow's a huge day because tomorrow I. I am trying on wedding dresses for the first time. You know what I was going to say about what? that? Tell me. This is like so fucking exciting. I'm so excited. It is exciting. It, let's talk about it. We need a podcast, which is what we're doing right now. Or we need like a chat GBT, GBT of like girl things that no one told us what to do. Like girl codes that like that we just don't want to. We don't have older sisters. We don't have like how yeah. do we know what we're going to do for your wedding? Like who's going to tell yeah. us? We need like the girls to tell us like... You got engaged. Yeah. Now, you're that's gonna... the thing. Okay, so for whoever that makes sense, I was like I really totally. It there. totally made sense because that's all the feelings I've been dealing with. Because I'm the first out of like my friend group and John. Like I'm the first out of everyone I know my age. First out of my siblings. First out of John's siblings. Right. Like you're about to pave the way of like what we weddings. do. Yeah. Like we're the first one. And for some reason, you keep asking me. Well, because you're like so much more girly and online than I am. Like, you know things That's more fair. than I do. You know about, like, mate. Like, you look up, like, Get Ready With Me. I'm like, I've never watched a Get Ready With Me in my life. If I made one, would you watch it? Yeah. I watched the one you made on the way to my engagement proposal Aww. thing. So, basically... Wait, what was I saying? I think you, like, your wedding planner is going to help you a lot. Oh, yeah. So, well, so right after I got engaged, I, like, you know, took the oh. week to be high. And then immediately, I literally went on Reddit and I was like... I just got engaged. Now what? Because I was like, Reddit. what? Do I, I'm a big Reddit head. So I, I would go if on you TikTok have, to look this up. Okay. And, or chat GPT would answer. But like, if you want human, like Reddit is basically people who, the thing about it that's, I trust more than TikTok is it's like you, people, like usernames are like cookie lover 25 and like, no, like it's like, hey girl, like question, like. TikTok, it feels like you have to show your face and be like, what so to do? You, when you it's the more anonymous. It's a little aspect. more anonymous feeling. And I go on, I literally went on Reddit, like, I just got engaged, now what? And like, there's all these threads. It's like, and then there's all these different channels. So like, for example, there's like, um, uh, like backyard wedding planning, r slash backyard wedding, or like, um, r slash like. What does r mean? It's like red, like, that's like the HT, like the code for okay. like a thread. Oh, like you're looking specifically, like, so you would search, like, weddings, and then you go, like, or backyard like I, weddings, like, I sub joined, tweets. It's, like, a subreddit. Yeah, so basically, I joined, like, r slash wedding planning, and it's just, like, a generic wedding planning subreddit. Totally. And so, like, I'll get notifications of, like, there's a new post, or, like, there's different things. And then within that, I can look up, like, questions within that subreddit. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Just general Reddit. Totally. So, I literally went on yeah, Reddit. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. 
And I also, like, within that, I looked up, like, wedding planning costs. And there's different subreddits for, like, different budget weddings and, like, all this stuff. Yeah. But I genuinely was like, what do I fucking do now? Like, I don't know what it means. Like, when do I have to start? And, dude, everything was like, start now. Start yesterday. If you got engaged within 18 months of your date, you're late. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, that's not helpful, bride. I know. And it's also like, my mom does, my mom's, like, far removed from it, too. And she, like, like. My mom. My mom, like, doesn't, <laughs> like. And my mom doesn't have, like, opinions, really. So it's just like. <laughs> my mom's just a mom. Well, she's genuinely like, whatever you want. And I'm like. Oh my God. So I'm just like. So you think your wedding is going to be like your wedding and not your parents' wedding? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It is going to be. But my do, you, do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. So like, they bat, don't, bat mitzvahs are like your parents' bat mitzvahs. Yeah, exactly. But it, that's the thing. That's the other thing was that I started to call venues to schedule tours, which was a thing where I was like, I guess I'm doing that. Like, I feel like a 12 year old doing all this I know, stuff. Like, and then I get you? on the phone, and this is the first time in my life. This was something I was saying after I got, after I, when I, this is something I've been telling oh people. Oh my God. I got on the phone with these venue people and it was the first time where I felt like an adult because, and when John and I went on the tours, we went with our moms and like the ladies would speak to me and John and like our moms were in the background. Totally. Whereas normally your parent gets spoken to and then you're next to them. Yeah. This was like Emily, John. So what blah, blah, blah. And literally one of the ladies, like my mom and John's mom would ask a question and she would look at me when she answered. And I'm That's like, fucking powerful. I'm the adult here, huh? It's your wedding. You get to make every fucking decision. It's crazy. Does it feel good? It's overwhelming because I'm like, there's no guidebook. I'm so I'm like on Reddit every day, and I and now we just picked our wedding planner, which is like I wouldn't have known what that meant or like when to do that like two weeks ago, and now I know these things. And the wedding planner on the phone, it's like okay, it's, I basically hired a producer for the wedding. And totally it's like, good, and like I'm gonna run everything by her, and do all of that because we're doing a wedding in, in at John's family's house. So yeah. it's like we're not doing it at a venue, so we don't. Get... John's her fiance. Does everyone do you know that? Yeah, John is my fiance. And, and he's the so, one with too many clothes. He's the one with too many clothes. And so we're doing it at his house. So like we definitely need a planner because it's like we're not doing it at a venue that comes with a planner. Anyway, I say all this to say finding a dress. Literally yesterday I went, I'm getting Invisalign. And I went yesterday to the orthodontist who's a family friend. Right. And the orthodontist, she was like, oh, honey, you're getting married in June of next year. Like you're late. You got to get, you're, they're not going to have it in time. And I'm like, now I'm freaking out. So I, I panic booked a bride appointment. That's my life right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm I know. planning a wedding and I don't know how. I'm looking up like how to make how to ask my bridesmaids. Like when am I supposed to ask? Like I don't know anything. I have a question. Is yeah. that my necklace? No, my parents got it for me. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Sorry. No, it's okay. I have one. I'm like actually this. bored of what I'm talking about. That's not why I said that. No, but I'm bored of it. Like I, I wonder if anyone who's listening is like, I don't care. No, but I was gonna I think that it's important to like we need someone to kind of write an idiot's guide to being a bride. Yeah, idiot's guide. Like I'm the idiot. idiot. idiot like idiot, I am barrel assing through this thing of that's not the right word, but like I am like <laughs> ass first going through all of this of like, I guess I'll do this now. I don't fucking know. We need to we need to well, report back. Yeah. And tell people. Yeah, we'll update people. Like, this is what we did. We this went we to did. this wedding yeah. thing and we're figuring it out. Same with when I got a dog. Same with when I. Oh, I bet. Did all these things. Well, then it made me think about, like, oh, when I have a baby, I'm going to be like, oh, on oh my Reddit God. and reading books. Like, yeah. I just got pregnant. Now what? No, literally. Because I feel that way about that. I mean, I guess that I think is a little more like, okay, you go to a. You, my mom will be like, know what to do. Right? Yeah, yeah. But with that, this stuff, it's just like the other thing with weddings that I think separates it from kid stuff is like you can really do so much or so little. Like there's no all of it is kind of up to you of like, do we want to have an engagement party? Because when he proposed to me, it was like a surprise proposal party. Right. So it's like, yeah, we do. But like that's going to cost. And it's like yeah. there's so much. And it's like, how hard do I want to go on my bridesmaids asking? I want to go hard because in my head, I'm like, I only get to do this once. Yeah, you I want to have it. so much fun with it. Yeah, that's fun. And I made where our friend Sam is marrying us. And that's we so asked cute. him, we asked him to marry us. And I made him a little card Did and a custom. Yeah, I gave it to him yesterday. Sam is the co producer. He wrote my show, with, wrote me, show with me. And he's also one of John's best friends. Yeah, Sam's incredible. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's like enough wedding talk. Yeah. I have such a thing where I'm like afraid I'm going to talk about it too much and everyone's going to be like, shut up. I don't so think so. So I'm having that right now live. I'm like, is that I, enough? I feel like I just. I'm just like, yeah, I know. It's crazy. Yeah. But you're excited by it, which is very I'm sweet. I'm so excited it makes about me happy. it. I'm so excited I'm about it. I'm always afraid that I'm talking about it too much. You know what? I th Today, two of my friends came over, and they were like, 
I just want to talk about falling in love uh, yeah. the whole time. And you did? And I did. And I was yeah. like, you guys, I'm sorry. I don't care that you don't care. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you just wanted to talk about falling in yeah, love. Yeah, I wanted to talk oh, about it. And I was oh, like, oh, oh, I know. Oh. I keep talking about it. And I was like, I don't even care. I'm yeah, but it's like talk- sometimes. I just want to keep talking about it. Yeah. So I understand. You're getting engaged. Like, everything surrounded by, like, love is just, like, fun. But I feel hypocritical because right before I got engaged even, I used to be someone who was like, people who make their wedding their personality suck. And I feel like you like, have jokes about it. But now I totally get it. Yeah. It's as soon as it happens to you, you're like, oh, I get why this becomes your life. Do you think it's like a subconscious, like, bitter thing of, like, everyone wants it, but... Well, no. I mean, there is part of me that's like... Like the girls don't who make are- it your whole whole personality. Well, <laughs> personality. Don't, don't publicly make it your whole personality. Like Por- I can't, I can say personality. <laughs> well, you know, girls. I'm are- trying to hold back on publicly making it my personality, but in my real life, it's my whole. Yeah, life we talk right about now. it all day. Wait, but you know, boyfriend girls who are like, I have a boyfriend. You joke about my like, boyfriend. My boyfriend. My boyfriend. My boyfriend. I think. They should. It's really exciting to have a boyfriend. It is exciting to have a boyfriend. Congratulations to them. Yeah, but now I'm like, having a boyfriend, that's child play. I know. Play. I know. It like, I'm like... It's not, though. Like, it's Emily not. is at a point where she's getting engaged, and I'm like just starting to see a guy, and now no, I'm but we're of early. Like, we're early, not even just for New Yorkers. I feel like we're early, like, I'm 27. That's early. That's like when my mom got married. Yeah. Like, it's, we're early. Yeah. It's that Broad City quote, but a bunch of people sent me that meme of like, child bride. I can't get married. I'm 27. I'm going to be a child bride. I say that to say, what I'm saying right now too is like, I realize that so many things in life are just like, you're going to have the id feelings of it. And it's like, let yourself feel them. Yeah, and one it. of those for me is like, your wedding. I'm engaged my wedding. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to feel marrying some of that. And you're marrying John. I'm marrying the love of my life. You're not the only person who thinks that. Exactly. Which is the beauty of it. It's like, exactly. Everybody I gets understand to do what you're this. saying now because it's like, I'm just talking while you're talking. <laughs> well, the real reason we brought it up was because I'm going to try on wedding dresses tomorrow. And, yeah. like, that's a thing where I'm like, what do I do? Go there and say, hi, I do want I a dress. Do I try on a dress? Do you? <laughs> it's bad luck, actually. Is it? I made that up, but I wouldn't. Okay. I, you can't put on a wedding dress. But, like, I didn't know that I'm supposed to bring, like, heels and hair clips I and did. stuff. Like, you knew that. I didn't know that. I am girly and online. And, like, what Confirmed. do I say at the end? Like, thank you. Thank you for your services. And, like, do I have to, like... See, like I just whatever. we're gonna play it by we'll ear. Have so much fun. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna be totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Moving on from wedding. Moving on. Should we talk about our our New York week moment? Oh, we each need a New York story. Yeah. I feel like it's so gonna be like tomorrow as the wedding. Dresses. Well, that'll be for the next one. Exactly. Did you have a New York story since last time we talked? Um. Yeah. Give us your New York story of this week. I mean, I kind of feel like I had a funny experience. Short. I'll make it short and sweet. Of like. I went to dinner the other day in Dime Square. In Dime Square? Yeah, Dime Square. Is that a real thing? Oh, I was going to make fun of people who asked that question. (laughs) See, this is what I mean when I say you are girly and online and I don't know anything. What's Dime Square? It's like... (laughs) It sounds like you're calling someone named Steve Deeve. Like, hey, Deeve. (laughs) Like, Dime Square. Is that a Dime Square? Yeah, what is it? Okay, so you know, like, down, like, where, like... Orchard, like that whole area where there's like Little Canal or Dimes, like the cafe. No, Dude, sure. What? Lower I was East gonna side? say I had this. Yeah, Lower East like two two bridges, like two one six, bridges. Yeah. one six nine bar, that whole little area. Yes, they call it Dimes Square. Oh, why? Like there's like a restaurant called Dimes. Like it's just like Dimes Square. Like can someone help me? No, no, they it's can't. Just me. Um. Anyway, I went to dinner there in that area yesterday in Dime Square. Also, it became like kind of a joke. Like people who hang out there are like very fashion-y, very like no lead a dirt bag. Is this words that you know? Yeah, fashion. No lead a dirt bag. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? No lead a, yeah. Dirt, dirt bag. bag. I could put two and two together. No lead a dirt bag. Like annoying fashion people? Totally. That's like where they hang out. Yeah. Anyway, we went down there the other day. The other day. I went there last night for dinner. I had an amazing dinner. And it was funny because we went with another group of people who like never go downtown they're like upper people upper kind of like me kind of like you and they were like so what's this like what's this area like what's it like and I'm like you don't go down here and it kind of reminded me how everyone has different New Yorks and I was like obsessed with it Mm. not it's you thought I was gonna be condescending about it because I said you don't know what Times Square is which I was but you said I was about to make fun of people who say that yeah but then (laughs) (laughs) which I was one of those people Exactly. I was like, oh, you have, like, what? 
And then I'm like, then I decided after I had my judgmental moment, decided to be like, you have different, different, people New, York, different New York, different strokes for different folks. She's yawning. You know what, dude? I was editing the first episode. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just tapped her with my toe. Like to be like, I hey, you know what? It was cute. It was cute. I was and like, you know, they're yeah. clean. I just got a pedicure. When you were editing. That I ruined. I just remembered. <laughs> I was editing it and there was a part in the first episode where you ha- tried to hold in a yawn and it's really <laughs> funny to watch. You like kept your mouth closed and your nostrils better because you weren't trying to be rude. And I didn't even catch it, but Sweetie saw what it. And he was like, about? is Chloe yawning? And what I was like. What were we talking about? I don't know. I don't Something remember. Boring. I'll find it. Some, it must have been because you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you like kept your mouth closed and tried to swallow it. I don't want Sweetie to call me out. No, he was He was like, I'm not even dissing. He's like, that's hilarious. Look <laughs> at her. She's like dissing. trying not to be rude. <laughs> I was being it was sincere. funny. Anyway, um, my New York story. I'll give you a New York story. <laughs> I saw a play. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are we laughing? I saw a play. She saw a play. I did. I saw a play. Wait, what did I do <laughs> Wednesday night? Did you see a play? What play did you see? Something. Hold on. What did I do Wednesday <laughs> night? It's going to bother me. Oh, this. Uh, forget the play because I didn't like it. And I don't want to <laughs> talk about why I didn't like it. Wait, but. After. Wednesday Sorry, night. Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> I went out to dinner. John and I went, that's, how I, that's my that's my annoying Wednesday way of saying. Have you seen those TikToks? That's like people who sing when they feel awkward, and it's like that's not what I'm doing. Oh my god, it's so not what we're doing. We're it's singing because we are. Because life <laughs> so, is fun. It's a song. Life is a song. Life is a song. <laughs> <laughs> um. I went out to dinner. John and I went out to dinner last night. Our friends took us out to dinner um, <laughs> for to celebrate the engagement. She's and engaged. She's engaged. And we went out to dinner in the West Village. And after dinner, um, they our friends they have kids. And after dinner, John and I were like, John was like, I kind of want to get another drink. And they were like, Go do it. You're young. You're engaged. Like go have the drink. Um, and we wound up not, but we like thought we were. And we were walking, and we walked through like Washington Square Park, and we walked past like. Like, through the NYU streets and, like, past where we, like, went to NYU summer camp where we met. Where you, oh, my God. And it just, it's kind of similar to what you said. But, like, we we were just, like, walking at night. It was so quiet. And to walk through, I highly suggest this if you're, like, been in New York a couple of years. We walked through, like, where we started in New York. I know. I and love those. it was so, it's one of those moments where you feel like time is not linear. Like, time is spatial. Because when I was, like, walking, I was, like, walking on Mercer. And it was just, like. With Sweetie. Yeah. Like, where with Sweetie. Like, where we, we like, did this. Uh, walk past the building where when we were 17, we, like, went to these, like, NYU camp classes. Totally. And it was so, like, not emotional. It was, like, so ex- of just, like, oh, my God. Like, who would have thought in 10 years, literally 10 years, we'd yeah. be, like, back on this block looking at it from the, like, it just makes you think of all the time that's passed. And such a special thing about New York. And, yes, every city has this, but it's just, like, not the same as it is in New York. I'm yawning. Is you can, you're yawning. It's okay. You can walk on a corner and it has so, like, you can walk past it on so many different years at so many different points of your life and it can hold so, memories totally. in the most beautiful way. And it was so special for like to walk through like, and we were like a couple, we had a couple glasses of wine just, like, like walking really, through like, our past. Nostalgic too. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like really special. I love that. And I recommend if you live in New York and you've been here like more than two years even or whatever, walk past like a block or walk on a block that you like, have meaning with from your past. It's like really special. And sometimes it's nice to do it. Like I remember feeling that way, even if you have like bad memories, like break up blocks, like yeah. walk through it as the person you are now. And it, you might, you yeah. might be able to like reclaim it. I was just going <laughs> to say that. <laughs> My toes. Your toes I are was, green? No. From not wiggling them for too long? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, I <laughs> my toes are green. They are green. <laughs> Wait, I need to like, Get some blood brush again. Sorry. Toes okay. out. Um, I, I was going to s- go, too. I have dinner at 7.15, and it's 7.02. Oh, fuck. I'll be really quick. It's okay. Um, I really find it important when I'm walking around the city to, like, clock those memories, too. Yeah. Of, like, this is where I, um, like, threw up outside the bodega when I was drunk. Yeah. Like, this is where I kissed the boy that I had a crush on. Yeah. This is where I went on a date. Like, moments like that, just be really present when you're walking. It's yeah. really fun. Look up. A phone in your pocket. Yeah. Music on. 
don't take your phone out. Yes. And I just challenge you. Walk around and look. Yeah. Look around. Yeah. Look, look around. around. Look around. See, I know. have to be alive right See? now. See, I yeah. know Hamilton. Okay, y'all. Love you, Em. Love you, Chloe. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Liddy and Shitty in the Big Bad City. Whether you were just cleaning your apartment, slaying at the gym, or strutting on these city streets, we're always grateful for your ears. Be sure to follow or subscribe, tell a friend, and hey, hey, leave a review. Lilas! What? Love you like a sister. Oh, cute. Lilas! Hey, it's Shitty.